Since 1958, Britain has had a fairy tale love affair of the ultimate domestic motorsport, touring car racing. Let's face it, we just love watching cars we drive on the roads, swapping paint on the best circuits in the country, driven by the best drivers in the sport. I think that's because we secretly like seeing cars we drive on our highways becoming champion racers, because that means we drive a champion racing car, and that gives us a special kind of buzz. So to celebrate the rich diversity of great road cars that have raced in Britain's premier category, here's my list of the top 10 British Touring Car Championship racers of all time. Don't forget, this list does span 60 years of racing, and I know it'll be controversial, but you're perfectly welcome to disagree in the comments box below, and don't forget to like and subscribe while you're at it. Just outside the top 10, we should pay tribute to the giant crushing Honda Integra Type R of the mid noughties and the six year race winning Renault Laguna, backed by a brand of coffee. It was particularly painful leaving the M3 out of the list as it so deserves a place, but then I always loved the Ford Mondeo and that hasn't made it either. Nor has the championship winning Vauxhall Vectra VXR. So what on earth has? Well, brace yourselves and get ready to disagree. In 10th position is the best Avenger since John Steed. Built by Chrysler, Hillman and Talbot during its career in the BTCC, it won the title in the hands of Bernard Unnett in 1974 as a Hillman, before being rebranded as a Chrysler for championship success again in 76 and 77. And considering it won every Class A race in 76, you can't really say fairer than that. At ninth is a car guaranteed to raise a smile. The Imp was a particularly successful car in the Touring Car Series, and rallying for that matter as well. But its three consecutive titles as a sunbeam for driver Bill McGovern is the ultimate success story, winning 28 races out of the 34 they contested from 1970 to 1972. Wow! Remember the brilliantly named Win Percy? Well, he did just that in 1980 and 81 with the Mazda RX-7. And whilst this machine is a borderline sports car, the reason it ranks 8th in my list is when you realise what it beat to win the title, Escorts, Dolomites and Salikas, it's pretty impressive. And Percy won all but two races during his two-year dominance of the sport. Need we say more? Next is the first king of the Super Touring era and the championship winner in 92 and 93 in the hands of Tim Harvey and Joe Winklehock. Some of the greatest races in touring car history were won by the 318i, but it's the rate of development that took them from their first win in June 92 to another 23 victories over the next four years that's truly impressive. Now, some people call it the BTCC's lowest point, but Vauxhall call it their finest hour. From 2001 to 2004, it was all about Vauxhall's Astra Coupe, which won an astonishing 62 races in 96 starts over four years, and gave James Thompson and Ivan Muller their only British touring car titles, and Jason Plato's first. Four titles in four years. Time for one of the most heroic British touring cars ever, the Cortina, raced and mastered by F1 legend Jim Clark in 1964. During a period where F1 and Le Mans stars regularly raced saloons as well, the Cortina was a supreme world beater. If only we could have that era back again. I mean, how awesome would it be to see Hamilton and Vettel swap paint in tin tops? Alonso too. The Corolla AE86 is one of the finest racing cars of the 80s, winning its first title with that man Win Percy again in 82. And in the hands of Chris Hodgetts, the Corolla swept all before it, winning all but three of the races from 86 to 87, showing the car at Alton Park in the latter year with fifth gear's Tiff Nadell. And it's still lauded by touring car aficionados to this very day. Argue if you like, but the Civic is easily the greatest racer of the current era. After all, it's won five of the last six titles, with Matt Neal, Gordon Shedden and Andrew Jordan all becoming champions, with 99 wins as of Rockingham 2017 in the last 16 years. The only black spot was the Civic Tourer in 2014, and even that won four races. No hot-blooded touring car fan can deny the genius, though, of the original Cozzy. Andy Rouse gave the legendary Sierra XR4i its first title in 85, but thanks to the class system back then, it would only win one more overall title in 1990 with Rob Gravitt. But it's worth pointing out the Sierra was the best Class A car for five out of the six seasons it raced. Truly remarkable. But it's ultimately beaten by a car that is one of Britain's greatest ever, the Mini. Shout at me all you want, but you can't deny the facts. Six overall titles from its debut season in 61 with Sir John Whitmore, all the way to 1979 with Richard Longman. Countless victories in class and overall, and able to knock the spots off Chevys, Mustangs, Escorts, Capris and Cortinas on its day. It's the longest lasting winner in the series, and the true epitome of a road going saloon that triumphed on the track and cool enough for Steve McQueen's podium at Brands Hatch. Mind you, my personal favourite is the MG ZS, three of the most iconic liveries and 11 wins from Anthony Reid, Colin Turkington and Warren Hughes. Leave your thoughts in the comments box below, but please guys, be gentle.